y'all welcome back to my channel and if you are new here my name is Ailey so guys let's get right into it we're gonna conceal our eyelids or prime it but I'm gonna use my concealer and just make sure the primer is evenly distributed on your eyelids and we are gonna go in with our morphe 39a palette I love this palette I think I say that about every palette but yeah this is a really good palette we're gonna go in with a transition color and we're just gonna go in with that I'm just gonna place that all over our eyes with our glamour doll number 10 brush I love this brush like this is my favorite then we're going to dip into this color and we're just gonna paint place it on our crease just a little bit below it we're gonna try to use some tape to make our lines crisp I don't really use tape but I'll show you how to apply it so just get a piece of tape and what you're gonna want to do is you are gonna want to place it right from right here you don't want to put the tape exactly where your eyes meet. You want to put it where your eyeball, I don't know, you could feel your eyeball, right? So you want to put it from where that, that crease, and we're going to start it right there. And we're going to match it with our eyebrow. Let's get the other side. And then you're just going to look like a little Asian, you know? If you got Botox, your face is going to feel snatched. Okay. And then our makeup is going to come out really nice and perfect. Let's get into this. Well, we already started with a transitioning color. And then we went in with this color in our grease. Just a little bit, you know, not too high. I don't want it to, to look like a clown today. I want it like a little subtle fall look. And I want it to not be so all the way up here. <laughs> I don't know how to speak, guys. And I love this this palette because you can really build the eyeshadows up. Okay. We are gonna dip into this color right here using the same brush. Hmm. You don't need to have all those brushes. I mean, brushes are awesome because you need the right tools, but. You know, some of us don't have all that money to buy all those brushes. So, hey, why not get a few brushes that are useful and you could just keep using them within the same eye look. You know, you don't have to have the $150 Morphe makeup brushes. If you want it, buy it. If you want to spend all that money, buy it. It's not necessary. We're going to take that orange that we had and we're going to place it right on top just buff it out and then just dip back into that brown and we're just gonna go right back on top of what we just did because sometimes you lose the color after you place a color on top and I really like this color right here it's really shiny and pretty I don't know how it's gonna perform on my eye but we're gonna try it we're gonna pop it just on the outer side and i'm just patting when you have a darker color instead of smearing it like this it's better to pat it because you're getting all that product now to the other side and you could bring it up a little bit if you want Always make sure you're checking your makeup so it's even. And make sure you're using the same colors because we don't want no clown makeup around here. So since I am using the same brush, what I do is I went to Marshalls and I found this little thing. It's a brush cleaner. And I guess you could use this side and there's this side. So I just take my brush, as you can see, I've been using it. And you just wipe that stuff away, your shadow. And 
Um, to clean it, all you just do is get some soap and water, you know, and run it on the water, and it comes back clean. And it takes off all that powder from the last eyeshadow. So now I can use this brush again because it's fairly clean. <laughs> so then I'm going to go back into the first shade that I used. And I'm just going to soften it all up because I didn't really, I don't really want all that harsh lines. And instead of patting right now because we want to blend the colors, we're actually going to move in circles so we can blend it. I'm sorry y'all, this light, I have like my camera phone light on and I have like this old school light right here and it's like blinding me. I cannot see anything so I can't see my makeup. So I hope it's turning out good because I really can't see what I'm doing. So I don't have a proper concealer brush but I have this brush that has no name on it but I like it because it's round. And the straight ones, I can't really use it. I like this one because it's round and it goes with the curve of my eyelids. So we are gonna go in with NARS and we're gonna go in with the color Light to Vanilla. I was trying to get the other one, Chantilly, but they sold out. Put it on the back of your hand because it warms it up and it's not so cold. It makes it the the product glide better and when it's on the back of your hand you're gonna dip into it you're not gonna scoop it up you're gonna take some of it off so you're just basically having a little bit on your brush you don't want too much and then you're gonna cut your crease we're not gonna create do the whole cut crease we're just gonna do it up till right here what i'm gonna do is do you see what, like where you're you could feel where your eyeball is, like your, your eyeball. Right where your eyeball is, that's where you're gonna cut the crease, okay? So you're just gonna follow the shape of your eyeball. And you can just pull, or just press it in. And guys, I swear to God, I can't see anything and I hope I don't mess up. It's like I'm blinded by the light. Once you already have some on your brush, look up and dab it right there. And that's your mark for where you're going to cut your crease and you're not gonna pass that. You're not gonna press too hard, you're gonna press as gentle as possible. And you're gonna pull it. We're gonna get a Morphe brush, a little tiny one, and we're gonna take this tiny brush. I think it's supposed to be for your lips, but we're gonna use it for our eyes. And we're just gonna dip into our concealer again, and we're gonna put it on our eyes to make the line more crisp. And what I do, I don't know why I do it, but to make it more perfect and to make the line more even, I think, I just drag it down. Drag it down like that. I don't know why I'm doing that, but that's what I do. And you see how I messed up right here? Let's see if we can fix that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a brush like that and I'm gonna dip into the first shade that I used. And I'm just gonna try. Actually, make sure you knock it. <laughs> Cause you don't want that too dark. You just wanna lightly cover it. And 
push it in and pull up so you can blend that concealer out because that concealer that's what we want to remove I know we're kind of messing back up what we just did but it'll work out it's like we're starting over again with the pointy brush into that first color again and you just blend it out then you go back in with your fluffy brush just to make sure everything is blend it out and then you get that get your little tiny brush again and then go back in with your concealer that's on the back of your hand <laughs> and pull it see now it's perfect again <laughs> so that's how you fix your problem if you do mess up your cut crease and when you make a good line, pull down. So you could blend the concealer in. Now I got my line. What I'm gonna do is gonna get my concealer again and cover my entire lid. And then when you cover your lid, just get a clean brush and we're gonna pat it in. Cause we wanna make the concealer even. We don't want some parts with more concealer. I just want it to be even. I wanna tap away all the excess concealer. Going back in with our Glamour Doll brush, we're just gonna take the makeup or the eyeshadow that we already have on our outer edge this black one and all we're gonna do is just pull it in just pull it in and don't push too hard because we don't want to mess up what we already created so we just want to sweep it in to get like a little airbrush look then we're gonna go in with this color we just want it on our outer corners. And this color is so pretty. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's like there is glitter in it, like brown glitter, and it is bomb. Then you're gonna get your palette again. And you are gonna dip into this shade. And we're just gonna darken up right here just a little bit. I just want to pat it in. I get my little thing again, and I, and guys, this is very affordable. I got mine for like $7, I think. You probably get it for $2, depending on where you go. Five Below has them, Ross, everywhere. Next, we're gonna tap into this shade. I'm just gonna sweep it right here. start out light you can't take away you can always add it's important to start out light this palette is good because the colors are buildable so you can start out light then you can apply more and then put more and you could even start out as a daytime look and in the nighttime just add some darker color to it and boom you have a night look so I went off camera and just Play with some colors and this is what I got so I'm gonna show you how I got that okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with I'm gonna start off how I did it okay I started with this color on the outer edge and all I did was I just pressed it in and dragged it a little bit and remember don't go outside of the crease line that you just cut amazing part about all of this is that this eyeshadow is creamy so it's like it's sliding on like it's perfect then I noticed this beautiful purple right here it is so gorgeous I applied the purple over the bronze that I just used
then I went in with this beautiful goldish green and I just applied it in the inner corner of my eyes. And guys, these shadows are so creamy. I don't know if you watched my Morphe review video. Please guys, go check it out and I will leave a link. And don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. One thing I really don't like about this palette is I wish that they had like a more gold, like a more brighter gold. And they just needed one light color to set everything off and this palette would be complete. We are gonna dip into, remember this color? Just keep everything on the same brush because it's making it blend better. And then you take that orange and you place it right here. To give it like a little sunset look. You go back in with your favorite brush, girls. And you can also dip back into that black or dark brown, whatever you want to call it. And pull it. We're going to take our tape off now. Any spots on the top of our brow that we missed like over here that I missed, I'm just gonna tap the excess off and I'm just gonna fill it in. And next we're gonna do our eyeliner. So what I'm gonna do is, I can't open this cause it's all smashed up. I'm gonna take my Glow Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hill. And it is a highlighter palette. Ugh. Highlighter palette. <laughs> Tongue twister. So I get a little brush that is pointed. And I'm going to dip into Summer. Ugh, it's so ugly. I don't even want to show it. And we're going to pop that right into our corner of our eye. Just to give it a little bit more definition. We're almost done guys. What we need next is, we're just gonna reverse the steps that we used on our top and we're gonna do it to the bottom. I'm sorry, there's so much glitter. Glitter everywhere. <laughs> so we're gonna start off with that lighter brown and then we are gonna add our darker brown to match our eyeliner. We're also gonna go in with the black vintage pencil and I'm gonna go off camera to do my lashes. This is the end of my eyeshadow, so I'm just going to do my face um, the regular way I do it. I'm going to fast forward this. If you guys do want to see me do a full face and I'll show you my uh, foundation routine, um, please comment down below and I will do that for you. that is the final look i hope you like it please like subscribe share and comment please hit the thumbs up button and that bell for notification because i post videos every week